Dracula ants, also known as vampire ants, are a unique species of ants that have developed a fascinating predatory behavior. They are primarily found in tropical forests and are known for their unusual feeding habits, which involve drinking the blood of their own larvae. Dracula ants, also known as Maestrium ants, are a fascinating group of ants known for their unique feeding behavior. They belong to the subfamily Amblyopononi and are found in various tropical regions around the world. The name Dracula ant comes from their feeding habit of consuming the bodily fluids of their prey, which is reminiscent of vampire lore. Here's a detailed explanation video of how Dracula ants hunt. But before this, if you are new to this channel, then subscribe to my channel. Let's back to the video. Colony structure. Dracula ants live in small colonies consisting of a few hundred individuals. The colony typically comprises a queen, male ants, and worker ants. Nesting behavior. These ants create nests in the soil, leaf litter, or rotting wood. They prefer dark and humid environments, often found in the forest understory. Hunting strategy. Dracula ants are nocturnal predators, and they primarily hunt for other arthropods, such as small insects, spiders, and other ants. However, their unique feeding behavior revolves around their own larvae. Larval blood. The larvae of Dracula ants produce a nutritious liquid called hemolymph, which is similar to blood. This hemolymph contains essential nutrients and proteins required for their growth and development. Larval blood feeding. The worker ants of Dracula ants engage in a behavior known as non-destructive cannibalism. They carefully bite into the cuticle of their own larvae causing them to excrete droplets of hemolymph. Feeding mechanism. Once the worker ant induces the larva to release hemolymph, it uses its mouth parts to suck or lap up the droplets. The worker ants have specialized mouth parts that allow them to efficiently consume the hemolymph. Nutritional benefit. The hemolymph of the larva is rich in essential nutrients, including sugars, proteins, and lipids. By feeding on the hemolymph, the worker ants acquire these nutrients, which supplement their own diet and provide energy for their activities. Mutual benefit. The feeding behavior of Dracula ants can be seen as a form of mutualism within the colony. The larvae benefit from the removal of excess hemolymph, which helps prevent bacterial or fungal infections. The worker ants, in turn, gain a nutrient-rich food source. Larval care. Dracula ants take great care of their larvae, ensuring their well-being and survival. They regulate the amount of hemolymph they extract to ensure the larvae remain healthy and can continue to produce the nutrient-rich liquid. Other food sources. While the hemolymph of their own larvae is a vital food source. Dracula ants also forage for external food. They scavenge for insects, small invertebrates, and nectar from plants. These additional food sources contribute to the overall diet of the colony. Hunting. Dracula ants are primarily nocturnal hunters. They typically forage individually or in small groups. Scouring the forest floor or the lower vegetation in search of suitable prey. They possess long, slender mandibles that they use to capture their prey. Subduing the prey. Once a suitable prey item is located, the Dracula ant employs its lightning-fast mandibles to capture and immobilize the prey. The mandibles have sharp teeth that can easily puncture the exoskeleton of their victims. They are also capable of delivering venomous stings, which further paralyze their prey. Feeding behavior. Unlike many other ant species, Dracula ants do not rely on the physical consumption of prey. Instead, they have a fascinating method of feeding known as non-destructive hematophagy. 
In simpler terms, they consume the hemolymph, the insect equivalent of blood, of their prey without causing lethal harm. Mouth parts and feeding mechanism. Dracula ants have specialized mouth parts that facilitate their feeding behavior. Their labrum, upper lip, and hypopharynx, a tongue-like structure, form a feeding channel that can penetrate the exoskeleton of the prey. They insert this channel into the prey's body and tap into the open circulatory system, allowing them to access the hemolymph. Feeding process. Once the feeding channel is inserted, the ant uses its subarial pump to suck up the hemolymph, which flows through the channel and into its mouth. The ant can consume a significant amount of hemolymph relative to its own body size. This feeding process is relatively quick and efficient. Prey selection. Dracula ants primarily prey upon small arthropods, such as spiders, insect larvae, and other ants. Their choice of prey depends on their habitat and availability. Some Dracula ant species are known to specialize in preying upon specific types of prey. Colony level feeding. In addition to individual hunting, Dracula ants also engage in trophallaxis, which is the transfer of liquid food among colony members. The ants that have successfully fed on prey can regurgitate a portion of the hemolymph to feed nestmates, including larvae and other non-foraging members of the colony. In summary, Dracula ants have evolved a unique feeding behavior that involves drinking the hemolymph of their own larvae. This behavior provides the worker ants with essential nutrients while benefiting the larvae by preventing infections. It is a fascinating example of specialized feeding strategies and cooperative behaviors within ant colonies. It's also important to note that while Dracula ants have an intriguing feeding behavior, they do not possess the supernatural abilities or characteristics commonly associated with fictional vampires. Their feeding strategy has evolved as an adaptation to their ecological niche enabling them to efficiently extract nutrients from their prey while minimizing the risks associated with physical consumption. I hope so now you will understand hunting strategy of Dracula ant. Thanks for watching my content. If you like my content press the like button. And subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for upcoming videos. Thank you goodbye.